Hey folks, it's Troy here again at Microvelos Cameras with our used update for the day here. Today I want to focus on some very special lenses and a special camera that we've got here in the used department. Uh, most people, many of our customers here, you know, all know the names Nikon and Canon and Olympus and all that, uh, but more people are less familiar with the name Zeiss. Zeiss is a lens manufacturer and they've been making lenses heck, for a long, long darn time. And their lenses have always been considered kind of legendary. Um, in fact, like when you see that blue badge on a lens, you know you're getting something special. They always, people always talk about the, the, the Zeiss look and what that is and why is that different than anybody else's. So I just did want to highlight Zeiss today, what makes them special and why you should consider using them on your cameras. So I did a, my little bit of research this morning here as to what makes Zeiss lenses special. And what I see here uh, is what here an overall combination of a very neutral color look. So these lenses do not tend to be either have like a warmer rendition or a cooler rendition. They just reproduce things as they should look. And that obviously is pretty important, especially with digital technology nowadays. You want a sort of a neutral look and then you can do whatever post-production you want on the images. But with Zeiss, you're always assured of good, clean imagery, good, clean color. Also, the Zeiss lenses are very well known for uh, just their Gaudang sharpness. They are wonderfully sharp lenses. More often than not, they're going to be manual focused lenses also, which means the onus is on you to do your best to get that focus right where you want it. So, yeah, so the, the focusing of these lenses is just so darn nice. The, the heliacoid, the focusing is nice and smooth and beautiful. It's, you know, we're also used to autofocus lenses. I think we've kind of forgotten what a beautiful manual focus lens feels like. These lenses deliver that. Uh, and then also the Zeiss lenses are known for their high micro contrast. So you have beautiful contrast regardless of what kind of lighting situation you're in. Even when you're uh, in a situation where that might be prone to flare or backlighting or stuff like that, these lenses still deliver an amazing amount of contrast, uh, which obviously helps your well-focused image to stand out and pop in your, in your uh, photographs that you make. So uh, the Zeiss lenses really are something special. Now what you see here is what I've got for Zeiss in the used department right now. Uh, there's a couple different uh, variations on these things, so let's just go over those uh, as to what we've got here. Uh, the first thing I want to highlight is this here. Uh, this is an ultra-wide angle lens, a 15 millimeter 2.8. Zeiss lens, manual focus again. It is in the Nikon mount, but the cool thing is it does have the electronic contacts on the back, so you can put this on any Nikon DSLR and it will behave just as though there were a Nikon lens on that body, uh, except for the fact that, again, you've got to focus it by hand. What also is neat, though, is that it's easy to adapt that lens onto any other body out there uh, if you've got a proper photodiox adapter. So uh, if you've got, you know, a Sony mirrorless body and you want to use this on there, piece of cake. Uh, this Zeiss 15mm 2.8 ultra wide lens is selling for $1400. Uh, I have gotten to try this one and I can assure you it is beautiful and it is worth $1400. Uh, a little bit more uh, older but beautiful manual focus lenses here. We've got uh, some contacts lenses that were made for the contacts lens mount. Contacts also uh, contacts made cameras and they used Zeiss lenses. These were pretty special. Uh, personally, back in the, what would it have been, uh, mid-late 90s, I was using these lenses to photograph weddings. They were fantastic. Uh, I see a lot of people come in and, and, and say how, oh, I couldn't possibly photograph a moving subject with manual focus or I couldn't photograph a wedding or a portrait with a manual focusing lens. It ain't that hard. You can do it, I believe in you. And here we've got two great Zeiss lenses in the contacts mount. So here is a 40 millimeter, uh, 40 to 80 millimeter f3.5 constant push-pull zoom. And that's selling for just 180 bucks. This lens as well, I've gotten to play with and try out and it's a beaut. It does sound like an odd focal length. I do rec recognize that a 40 to 80 uh, doesn't seem like much of a zoom, but it's sharp. It is versatile, and I highly recommend it. So 40 to 80 for 180. And then also we've got a 28 millimeter 2.8, also in the contacts mount, and that's selling for 275. Um, I don't currently have any contacts bodies in used, but I do have like a Sony a7 II in used. 
And with this photodiox adapter that only sells for 20 bucks, you can take these Zeiss lenses, put them on your Sony body, and you will be using uh, Zeiss lenses that are just gorgeous. So do consider that. Uh, a 28 plus a 40 to 80 would be a pretty excellent kit. And you're talking like, what, they're around 500 bucks or so. That would be excellent. Now, Zeiss, uh, historically in the photography world, has been known for what they do for Hasselblad. And we do have Hasselblad lenses. So just like Zeiss made lenses for contacts cameras, Zeiss also made lenses for Hasselblad cameras. And we do have a few of them here, and they too are pretty classic. Um, we do have, for instance, the Carl Zeiss Sonar 150mm f4 lens. So for Hasselblad, that would be a portrait lens. With Hasselblad cameras, 80mm uh, is the normal lens, like a 50mm on 35mm cameras. So a 150 is a portrait lens. This is a beautiful portrait lens. This 150mm f4 is only selling for 480 bucks. There is a 50mm f4 lens also. Uh, that's selling for 670 And then finally, there is the fantastic, uh, what is it here, uh, 40 millimeter f4 with floating lens element. Um, it's just a beautiful wide angle lens for the medium format cameras, and that's selling for $1,800 there. Uh, you don't see this one around much. It is a pretty modern lens, and uh, it again is a fantastic wide angle lens. Uh, like I said, these are for Hasselblad for the medium format camera. But the cool thing again with modern mirrorless cameras, you can adapt these to your mirrorless cameras. So for instance, I've got a Hasselblad to Nikon Z. So if you've got a Nikon Z5, Z6, Z7, or Z9, you can put these Hasselblad lenses on there. Uh, where is it here? So for just $80. $80 and you could adapt these lenses to your Nikon mirrorless camera. Or the same thing here for, um, oh wait, not that adapter, heck. This adapter here is very special. This is the Photodiox Tilt Shift Adapter. So you could put these lenses onto a Canon R camera and make them into tilt shift lenses. Uh, and that is costing you 200 bucks. Um, because these are medium format lenses, you know, they have a larger image circle than the traditional 35 millimeter sensor. So these lenses with this adapter you're going to be using the sweet spot of that larger image circle. So you're going to use that sweet spot in the middle and then be able to shift it with this adapter. I think that is so dang cool. So uh, if you do architectural stuff or uh, interiors or landscape photography and you really want things to be perspectively correct, using that tilt shift adapter with the medium format lens could be kind of fantastic. So do consider that sort of a Frankenstein approach to your photography, it could be kind of fun. So a Hasselblad medium format lens onto a Canon mirrorless body could just be fantastic. Now, the final offering of the day uh, in our little Zeiss feature is this. Uh, the Contax G2 is an autofocus, uh, 35 millimeter autofocus rangefinder. Holy cow, I can't believe that the video cut out there at the last second on the, that video that I was recording just as I was telling you about the amazing Contax G2 that we've got. Uh, it's a beautiful system. We've got it here for sale. It's an autofocus rangefinder, 35 millimeter film camera uh, with those all Zeiss lenses. We're selling it with a 28 millimeter, 45 millimeter, and 90 millimeter plus all the filters, hoods, and a flash, and a leather bag. The whole kit is selling for $2,800. Um, it is the kind of opportunity that does not come by frequently. So, check it out. Look it up. It's a beautiful camera. If you are enthusiastic about film photography, if you are enthusiastic about high-quality lenses and beautifully engineered cameras, you really need to consider this. Thank you.